Welcome to the Giants Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do within the Giants franchise where we go over top prospects throughout the organization, from AA Richmond up to AAA Sacramento. Next up on our list of top prospects is Derek Klauboff, the 19-year-old outfielder slash first baseman who bats right-handed and throws right-handed. He stands 6 feet 5 inches tall and weighs 201 pounds. He is quite a lanky player, and he was drafted in the first round of the Giants in the 2021 draft, 13th overall out of the state of Pennsylvania. So he was drafted as an 18-year-old, spent last year in the organization as an 18-year-old, played all year in AA, and now he is in AAA after starting the year in AA and raking, and he is already a 76 overall B potential, and he is a B potential that's in the high 80s as well, so if he does perform form, it is possible to bump it up to an A if that does happen. He's pretty versatile as well as, like I said, he plays all three outfield positions and first base. And the biggest part of his game offensively is that he is an extremely good contact hitter. He has 75 contact versus righties and 81 against lefties, which makes sense because he is a right-handed bat. His power could possibly develop a bit more as his career progresses, but it's definitely lacking right now for a guy who is six foot five. He only has 38 power versus right-handers and 44 against left-handers. So like I said, he's 6'5", but he is very lanky, so he's not the biggest guy. And his plate skills as they stand right now are pretty average. They will get better as his career progresses, just like the rest of his ratings will. And these are definitely the ones that I would look to want to progress the most. I believe that's what I have in training right now, is his plate skills, as they currently sit at only 62 vision and 55 discipline. Klobov is also extremely durable, so there's no reason to worry about him getting injured left and right. He has 94 durability. He's also pretty quick. He's by no means Billy Hamilton, but he's definitely fast. He's got 69 speed. Very nice 69 speed, 72 stealing, and 61 base running aggression. So he's able to, to patrol the outfield. He's able to run the base as well. He's able to swipe bags. And speaking of patrolling the outfield, he is pretty average defensively as it stands right now. Those ratings will go up as his career progresses, like I keep saying. Uh, he definitely has a strong arm, though. But even right now, he is definitely good enough to play a corner outfield position. He will need to work on his fielding and reaction time to be able to play center field, though but I'm not looking at him really long-term to be a center fielder. He has 57 fielding, 56 reaction, 73 arm strength, and 64 arm accuracy. So as far as Derek Klobov's future go, he is the reason that I'm comfortable trading away Joe Gray Jr. at this upcoming trade deadline. We don't have enough outfield spots for everybody, obviously, and I can't just sit on a prospect like Joe Gray forever and not trade him away to a team that can use him, and then we can get something in return to use for him. We obviously have Jack Peterson, who just signed a three-year extension or a three-year contract in free agency, so he's locked up in left field for the next few seasons. Manny Margot signed a two-year deal, but the second season is a player option, so he's definitely locked down at center field for this year possibly next if he accepts the player option. And then, of course, Elliot Ramos has right field locked down. He could possibly shift to center field once Margot leaves, and that would open up a corner outfield spot for either Peterson to shift to right field and Ordonez to play left, or Ordonez takes over in right, because Lorenzo Ordonez is definitely a guy who is going to long-term be a part of the outfield spots on this team. And then Derek Klobov is younger than Joe Gray by a few years, and I'm not sure exactly what outfield spot would be his long term, but he is definitely someone I want on the roster playing in the major leagues for us. Maybe not this season, but I would say next season he could possibly be like a fourth outfielder on our team. We'll just have to see how things shake out with the roster and the trade deadline and off seasons to come. But with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this edition of the San Francisco Giants prospect profile of outfielder slash first baseman Derek Klobov. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying, Jorge Masvidal. That's it.